Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for being here today. Um, this presentation is centered around a white-tailed deer skull. This is a commissioned piece. You can visit my Etsy shop to look into getting your own skull of almost any variety drawn on by me for you. Um, you can find all the relevant links in the video description. So, drawing on a skull is an interesting departure from drawing on paper. The first obvious difference is that I'm drawing on and around and all over an oddly shaped and textured three-dimensional object instead of the flat and completely predictable surface of the paper we are all used to. This um, provided all sorts of interesting but not insurmountable problems with figuring out ways to rest or support my hand, uh, problems with awkwardly reaching around the antlers, and even several times knocking the camera off the stand with the antlers while I was moving the skull around. It was just very difficult to not be clumsy with it. Another different thing um, about drawing on a non-flat surface like this is that when you draw something like a circle or a straight line from one perspective, uh, thanks to all the bumples and ridges and holes and weird seams everywhere, that nice circle or line you drew can easily look like a pile of spaghetti from another perspective. And that doesn't necessarily mean you shouldn't draw any straight lines or circles. You shouldn't just give up and not do that. Um, it's just something that comes with the territory, something you've got to expect and work with. I think you can even use it to your advantage, and it can actually look pretty cool sometimes. Related to that, sometimes it's hard to choose which perspective you should be using as your primary one um, for any given part of the skull. Like, should I be looking from here to draw this part, or from over here? Part of it comes down to which part of the skull I can reach best from which angle, but it's still a constant reevaluation that's taking place. I think it's good to take your art in a slightly different direction sometimes, whether that means drawing on uh, a deer skull or a styrofoam coffee cup. I think it can be a good way to mix things up and get yourself going again if you feel a little stumped or empty. One time, I drew on a watermelon. Some of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a long time uh, might remember that video from several years ago that I have long since deleted. Um, it was pretty awful, but I had fun doing it, and really that's what matters. I had a lot of weird videos back then in the first iteration of my channel. Um, I drew on my face with a Sharpie. I drew on a piggy bank. I drew on a banana on my laptop, on my hands, on my chest, on a waffle iron, all over the, wall, the walls of my bedroom, and so on and so forth. It was fun. Um, and, you know, they weren't my most amazing drawings ever. Um, in fact, I didn't really like a lot of them. But even though I didn't learn any groundbreaking new techniques or anything, I think it was still good for me in some way or another. I wish I could put my finger on why exactly, and I'm sure it would be super helpful if I could, but all I know is I don't regret in the least all the hours I spent doing these mediocre drawings on weird objects. So maybe go find something in your house today that needs some extra art and some extra lines on it. Just make sure you don't, you know, deface someone else's property without asking nicely first. Um, if you weren't going to, you know, if you're not going to do that, at least maybe draw something on paper. And please, you know, if you're not into drawing, please do something to pursue that dream of yours that's nagging at the back of your mind, that thing you love doing, but somehow never get around to because life seems so crazy all the time. It's just full throttle, nonstop. I know that you can't really control a lot of your circumstances, but you can try to make time for the things you love. 
That's all that I ask. Just try. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.